Hey guys, so as I already announced a while ago, I want to change up the style of my videos a little bit. In the past, I've always been making these very uh, concise tutorials about very specific Android features. For example, I made tutorials about how to uh, show notifications on Android and how to customize them, how to change the font, or just a tutorial where I focus on Dagger and nothing else. But after more than two years, to be honest, it became a bit boring, so I want to change up the style of my videos a little bit. And one idea I had was to still make tutorials, but not about single features, but instead build around whole app ideas. Because building a real app is just more fun for me than building only these very small code examples. So I thought, cool, I sit down for a week, build an app and then chop it up into a single tutorial parts and everyone is happy. So the plan for my first tutorial was to build a simple to-do list app on Android, but implementing all these current best practices. Architecture components with view model and live data, navigation component, Kotlin, Kotlin coroutines, all that stuff, view binding, maybe data binding. And this is what I have been preparing the last few days. But I quickly realized that it's much more difficult than I expected. I had no idea how difficult this actually is. So for example, the project I have on the screen here is not my project. It's actually a sample by the Android team, which is called Android Architecture Blueprints v Tour. You can find it under this address. And this is pretty similar to uh, what I was planning to build. It's basically just a simple to-do list app. I mean, it has a navigation draw. This is something I didn't plan to implement. But besides that, a little options menu, and then we can add notes, show them in the list. We can tick them off. We can show the details of the note, and we can edit it. And that's basically it. So it's not a big app with a ton of features, but if we take a look into the project, look at all these parts that are needed for that. It's crazy. Of course, you can also stitch a to-do list app together that looks exactly the same and is much less complicated in terms of code. But this is how you would implement it with current best practices by using view models and fragments and navigation component and all that stuff. This is not something I could Right from the top of my head right now. And even if you uh, try to follow these examples, it's quite hard to understand. So you really have to go ahead and learn all these small topics one by one. You have to learn about coroutines, you have to learn about data binding, you have to learn about how to properly use view models and live data, about uh, architecture as a whole. So I thought either I sit down and disappear for the next two months, try to learn this stuff and then come back and make a tutorial, but I don't want to go so long without making any videos. So what I want to do right now is I want to keep these two kinds of videos running at the same time. I want to make one long vlog, which I post regularly, try to talk about my experiences with this stuff and troubles I run into. But I also still want to make these very focused tutorials. But as I already said, I want to build them around apps instead of single features because it's just more fun to prepare. So in the next few days, weeks, months, whatever, while I am preparing this stuff, I will try to keep you updated. I will try to uh, talk about some interesting or useful things I figured out. And then when we are through with this, I will make a tutorial about it. We will see how this works, I'm not sure yet. I have already started two other vlogs, but I'm not really satisfied with them, so I will probably make them private, take these videos down, and instead I will do a one long vlog. So again, if you want to take a look at this project, I mean, there are also other projects like the Google Sunflower app, which is also an example app that implements current best practices. But this one here was more interesting for me because Google Sunflower has some some things implemented in a way that I didn't want to implement like that. Anyway, this is the URL of this project and I will keep you updated about what I'm learning. Take care.